Hey guys, happy Friday. Hope everybody is doing well and getting ready to have a great weekend. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at uh, a Docker container that was requested by a viewer. Uh, what we're gonna take a look at today is called Home Bridge. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit different because I don't really have any Apple devices to test this with. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to get Homebridge set up. And then I'm gonna kind of rely on you guys to actually uh, let me know if it works. So I, I know this is a little bit, uh, a little weird, uh, but that's what we're gonna do in this video. So uh, if we take a look at my desktop here, Homebridge says it's HomeKit support for the impatient. It allows you to integrate uh, with smart home devices that do not natively support HomeKit. <clears throat> So apparently there are 2,000 di different plugins supporting thousands of different smart accessories. Um, so of course we start here. Um, there are, it, it, this should obviously work with Raspberry Pi, Linux, Apple of course, Docker and Windows. Uh, this works with Hyper-V I believe um, or Windows 10 Home Edition. Uh, anyway, what we're gonna actually take a look at uh, is doing this in Docker like we normally do. And in this particular uh, instance, we're gonna use Osnu's Homebridge uh, image here. So we've used uh, Osnu in the past, some of the, the stuff that they've developed. Uh, so if we scroll down on this page, this will be linked in the description down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, this should support compatibility uh, with all kinds of different devices somewhere in here. Um, it says, I saw it on here somewhere. Anyway, this will be linked in the description as well. Um, and if we scroll down, we can see that they've got uh, this, which is more or less uh, what I've created over here. I didn't actually even see that uh, because what I originally saw was this. Um, and of course we don't like to do it that way. So I wrote this up uh, as it turns out very, very similar uh, to what is already uh, down over here. <clears throat> oh gosh, where'd it go? There it is. So. Uh, the only thing I missed, it looks like, was network mode host. Oh, nope, I've got that too. So uh, basically what we can do now is kind of go through this <clears throat> and we can see that the, the, it's version two. Uh, we're doing a uh, Homebridge service. The image we're using is Osnu. Uh, the container name is Homebridge. Uh, restart unless stopped. Uh, anytime I see always there, I always, re I always change it to unless stopped because if I stop it, I don't want it to run anymore. So um, anyway, that's why I always change that. Uh, network mode is host. Uh, that should get you access to the, the main network there. Ports, originally this ran on 8080, uh, but everything seems to want to, run, want to run on 8080. So I changed it to 8181. Uh, here we've got the volume uh, where everything is gonna be hosted. We've got PUID and PGID. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you how to get this here in just a moment. Uh, and then of course we've got the uh, config UI. Uh, so if we want to be able to log into the dashboard, uh, that should be what this is for. And then the, uh, the port is gonna be 8181. Um, this, is, this originally wasn't in there, I don't believe. Uh, and yeah, so that's not even in there, but I put it in there just in case. <clears throat> so let's talk about these uh, PUID and PGID. Um, for the longest time, I thought it was based on your, um, your portainer ID, but I was, also, I was later, later led to believe that this might actually be from uh, Open Media Vault. Uh, so whatever your, your admin account name is for that. Uh, either way, both of mine are named admin, so it uh, shouldn't be a big deal either way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that and I'll reopen this. <clears throat> and then we're gonna log in to our server. Oops, like so. And of course, bring that up there. And we're gonna log in as root enter my password, and then we're just gonna do ID admin. Uh, again, I'm not entirely sure, uh, because I've received some conflicting information, if this admin comes from Portainer or from Open Media Vault. Um, so if you happen to know that, let me know in the comment section down below. So we're just gonna type that in, hit enter. We can see the UID is 998 and the GID is 100. So that's what I've translated that to over here. And that's basically all we have to do. Uh, at this point now, we can just click on update the stack. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that or deploy the stack as the case may be. And then we can look at the logs. <clears throat> so here it looks like everything is deploying correctly. It's installing plugins. Uh, looks like this is now done. So we can go back. Uh, we can come over to here. Uh, no, we can't. Normally there are ports here, but for some reason uh, with this container, ports don't show up over here. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this and I'll just change that to 8181. And I believe this is gonna be admin and admin, just like that. And now we're logged in. Uh, we can see all of our server information as far as time zone, uh, what operating system we're running, what our host name is, IP addresses, 
Uh, all of that is in here. Uh, it says that there is an update available. Uh, that may be true for the application itself, but there isn't currently one for the Docker image uh, to update this to the newest version uh, from uh, 111 to 112. Um, so we've also got an out of date plugin. Um, <clears throat> so there's really not much we can do at this point. Uh, let's actually click update and see if this works. So we'll come back over here. It says that it restarted. It says it now that it's running. We'll close and refresh. So yeah, that didn't update. So we will have to wait for uh, an updated Docker image to be published. Uh, here we've got config stuff. Uh, this is where you'll write out uh, all of your information there uh, to connect to different devices and that sort of thing. Uh, accessories, uh, nothing there. Uh, we can add a room. So if you wanted to add like living room, uh, we can just go ahead and do that. Uh, default room, living room. So that's uh, that's what that should be for. Uh, plugins, I believe. Nope. Uh, oh, so maybe we can do stuff here. Nope. So anyway, this is why I'm saying I don't really have a lot of experience with this one. Uh, mostly I just wanted to show how to get the Docker container up and running uh, because I don't have an Apple device to test this with. I'm honestly not real familiar with the Apple ecosystem as far as what things are available and what things aren't. So uh, so that's basically it. That is how to get um, Homebridge up and running on uh, a Docker instance here. So a uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple thing to get up and running. Uh, hopefully you found the video helpful. Again, like I do have some questions about, uh, does this work? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, also, as far as the PUID, PGID thing, uh, let me know if you happen to know if that's from uh, Open Media Vault, your basic operating system, or if it's from uh, Portainer. I'd like to know that as well. So before I wrap this up, I do want to give a special shout out to my patrons. Uh, they do help me uh, keep the channel running by helping me uh, be able to afford new equipment, that sort of thing. Uh, I've actually got a new little device that I want to show off probably next week uh, that we will take a look at for uh, running Docker on it. Um, so if you're interested in supporting the channel, there are a couple of different ways you can do that. Uh, one is through coffee. That's a one-time tip jar. Uh, you can, you'll find a link to that in the description down below. Also there's Patreon. There are, I believe four different levels of uh, patronage that you can sign up for there. Uh, the three, five and $10 levels will give you access to um, er, uh, content early when I release it. Uh, I try to get it out a few hours earlier than uh, when everything goes public. Uh, the five and $10 levels though, will also give you access to a patrons only discord server. If you want to hang out and chat there. So I think that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to say in this video. So as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.